Hey what is up guys welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to review this Panasonic Eneloop AA and AAA size nickel metal hydride battery charger. Now guys before we start the video if you like my content make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube and hit that bell icon so that you can get notifications to my latest uploads. And do follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. All the links are down in the video description. Now I've already got a nickel metal hydride battery charger from Sony but the problem with this Sony charger is that it does not have overcharge protection. So if you insert batteries that are like 75% charged, this Sony charger will charge the batteries up for 15 hours straight. Even if they are like 90% charged, you plug in 90% charged batteries, this thing will charge them up for 15 hours straight. That means this charger does not have overcharge protection. If you want to see a review of this Sony charger and how it overcharges batteries, click over here. The link is right over here the only thing that's nice about the sony charger is that it's got a usb port so you can charge your AA and AAA batteries from your phone's charger power bank or your computer but yeah uh, if it does not have overcharging protection what's the point of making a charger and second problem with this charger is that you need to charge batteries in pairs uh, yeah that's another problem if you want to charge a single battery it's not going to work so that's why i have bought this in a loop charger from panasonic it's got overcharge protection smart charge it's got four led indicators and it's got three color and led indicators indicating how much charge there is in the batteries and yes you can charge individual batteries so no need to charge batteries in pairs anyway uh, here's the back of the packaging and the model is bqcc55n and i'll put the link to this charger in the video description you can go and check it out from over there and it says here the battery charger will charge two AA size cells in 1.5 hours but yeah we'll do some tests and see how long it takes to charge four uh, AA size batteries and four AAA size batteries so here's the charger got this thing out of the packaging and here are your four led indicators these are three color led indicators so let's quickly take a look at the user manual um, See what they have shown over here shows you how to plug the batteries in some caution information and then it shows here the led status red means the battery is 20 percent or less charged yellow means 20 to 80 percent charged green means 80 percent and more and when the charging is complete the leds will turn off now the charger will also detect if your rechargeable batteries are at the end of their life so if the leds blink yellow that means the battery needs replacement and if the LEDs blink red, that means you have inserted non-rechargeable batteries. And it shows here the charging time. And once again, just pause the video if you want to see this. But I've got 2400 milliamp hour batteries. It says right over here. That means four AA size 2400 milliamp cells will take about four hours. And over here it shows you can use one AA or four AA's. Yeah, you can plug in batteries in any combination. You can charge AA and AAA's together. It uh, doesn't really matter. All right, guys. So for my first test, we are going to see if this charger can detect non-rechargeable batteries. So these are two alkaline batteries. Let's plug the charger in. Turn it on. And right now it's diagnosing the status of the batteries. And there you have it. Blinking red light means these two are non-rechargeable batteries or invalid batteries. So for my next test, I'm going to insert these two 12 year old nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. So these batteries are long dead and they do not hold charge anymore. So let's see how the charger reacts to these two batteries. So I think this should show up as invalid batteries. Now let's see. Red light. Yep, these two are showing up as invalid batteries. And that's fine because these two batteries are long dead. So now let's charge four AAA size batteries. These are Sony batteries and these are about 840 mAh. hours. So it should take about four hours to charge these. And no, it does not matter what brand batteries you charge in your Panasonic charger. If you've got Sony, it will charge these batteries without any problem. So you can charge almost any brand batteries uh, in this charger, it doesn't really matter. And these batteries are almost completely discharged. So we shall see how long it takes for these batteries to get fully charged in this charger. All right, so let's see. Red means these batteries are below 20%. Let's start the stopwatch. And I'll be back once these batteries are almost fully charged. So it's been about 10 minutes and these two indicators are now yellow. 
Yellow means these two batteries are now above 20% charge level and below 80%. And these two are still red, that means these two are still below 20%. So look at this, after 2 hours and 31 minutes, the LEDs have turned green. That means the batteries are now 80% charged. So after almost 3 hours and 30 minutes, battery number 1 is fully charged. You see the LED has gone off, that means this one is fully charged. Alright, so after 3 hours and 38 minutes, these batteries are now completely charged. So it takes a little bit less time than 4 hours but then again there was some charge already in these batteries. So 3 hours and 38 minutes. So now let's see how long it takes to charge 4 AA batteries and these are 2400 mAh. So fairly decent capacity, not the highest ones. And these batteries should be discharged to about 10 to 20%. Uh, let's see what the charger shows us. So turn it off first. Alright, so red light, that means these uh, batteries are below 20%. So I'm going to reset this and start. So guys, after 2 hours and 40 minutes, this battery is fully charged. These two are above 80% and this one is below 80%. See, this is the advantage of having individual battery charging. If we were charging these batteries in pairs like we would on that Sony charger, this one would get overcharged. So this charger can detect the charge level of individual batteries and switch off charging to prevent overcharging. So this means this Panasonic charger knows the charge level of individual batteries and when the battery is full, it switches off charging. That means the charger has overcharging protection. That's great. Okay, so after 4 hours and 10 minutes, these three batteries are completely charged. Only this one is charging and this one is also above 80%. So any moment now this light will go off. Alright, so it looks like the charging has completed, the LED has gone off, so it took 4 hours and 28 minutes to charge 4 AA size batteries that are rated at 2400 mAh. So not bad, it's not the fastest charger I've seen and the best part is this Panasonic charger also has overcharge protection for each individual batteries. Okay, so the final thing I want to see is what will happen if I insert partially charged batteries into the charger. So these batteries are about 70 to 80%. Uh, let's see if this charger can top up these batteries because what happens is if I insert these batteries into this Sony charger instead of topping up the batteries this one runs a full charge cycle so I want to see how long it takes to top up these batteries so let's start the charging all right so as you can see we've got yellow light that means these are above these are slightly below 80% so let's go to our stopwatch, reset, and start. But the good thing is the charger already knows the charge level of these batteries. Alright guys, so it took 57 minutes and stop this 44 seconds for these two batteries to top up. So you can use this charger to top up batteries that are partially discharged. So this charger will not overcharge these batteries, instead if you insert half discharged batteries, it will top up these batteries, no problem. So guys, that's it for the review of this Panasonic NLube AA and AAA size nickel metal hydride battery charger. This charger is awesome, it's got everything, individual battery charging, then it's got 4 color LEDs, it's got overcharging protection and battery capacity indicators. It's a cool little charger. And if you like my content, press the like button on this video and do follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. All the links are down in the video description. So guys, thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I will see you guys next time.